how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Actually, I hope you are feeling fantastic and you guys are doing well. You're keeping healthy and it's all good vibes. So you guys, <laughs> we are on lockdown and it's day two of lockdown. And I'm like, yeah, Zindun, let me just create content because what am I going to do with my time apart from, apart from studying, watching Netflix, eating Oh my goodness, I don't know how I'm going to stay away from the fridge, like literally. But at least I'm doing some exercises so to keep a bit fit and stuff. So yeah, you guys, I'm going to be creating content for you guys, uploading. I'm super, super excited for that. Because I know I've been like really, really discussed throughout the entire year. So I was like, you know what, let me use this time. I feel like... As much as it's a very sad time, it's a very sad time, not just for South Africa, but for the world. Um, but however, since we're, do, we're on lockdown and a lot of people are quarantining, like a lot are on quarantine, sorry. <laughs> um, a lot of people need things, you know, to spend their time. And what better way to um, spend your time than binging on your favorite YouTuber? Hey, now. <laughs> So, um, Narams, I know the last time I saw you, you probably saw okay videos before this, but like last time I saw you, I told you guys, hey, I'm not going to be as consistent as I was the previous year. And that's because I'm doing my final year. So it's crunch time. It's, it's a lot of work. But now because of like the whole coronavirus, COVID-19 thing happening, it gave me a lot of time to not only just catch up on my work, school work, but to also just catch up on creating content for weeks for days uh, and i hope you guys are equipped i hope you most of you have like a bit of wi-fi or data to just like catch up i don't want to make the video too long because i know you guys really complain about that especially because most of you are using data so anyways without further further ado without further ado um i just want to get on to it so basically this video is just me talking to you guys you know just to let you know where my headspace is at you know about life about a lot of things so right now i i think the benefits of this coronavirus is that as much as it's very panicky like it's very it, it brings about anxiety and panic but it's a good time to just catch up on yourself and to Almost do the things you were neglecting if you were in the city or if you were busy with school or work. It's time to just reflect, you know, on how far you've come and stuff like that. So that's basically what I'm using it for. Apart from exercising, um, unfortunately, you are going to see a video of my typical day in quarantine. Obviously, it changes up a bit because you want to spice things up a bit. You don't want to be too bored out of your mind. Um, I was just like, you know, um, let me just talk about how I feel like I will use this time as a good thing like a good thing for myself for myself spiritually for myself physically for myself academically like it's gonna be a good time for me to just reflect and literally get on with the things that I've been wanting to get on with you know since the year started um, and so forth so basically I feel like this time for me is going to be like a spiritual detox time for me like i really want to just like sit down reflect and and just use the time to pray meditate exercise you know get on with my work um and and it goes above and beyond just like the outside things like okay i'm studying now okay i'm gonna do a bit of exercise in the morning and before i sleep um it goes beyond um saying okay uh, I'm going to pray or meditate, but also to just, um, I feel like to journal as well. Like I'll use this time to journal. I feel like it's a great time for me to just write down my thoughts, my thought process in this time, to write down all the things that I feel like I still want to achieve through God's mercy and, and, and grace. We're going to get through this period um, and get through this disease and we're going to come out alive and healthy but one of the things what i wanted to talk to you guys about was relationships um so currently i am as single as can be which is i feel like it's a great thing for me because i don't have to then worry about oh my gosh when will i see 
my partner when will i see my boyfriend um do you get what i'm saying like also i feel like the past few weeks so last time i talked to you guys i was like i want to put myself out there i just want to like um do like go on dates and stuff like that and i'm still that girl i just feel like i i need to detox men i need to detox the thought of like i have to be in a relationship like i need to detox um and start afresh you know i i hope by the time this lockdown i'm not gonna put up a time frame but i'm just hoping that by the time this lockdown is is over i can be like you know what i don't have any attachments i don't have any attachments to anyone like i'm glad at this point i don't have anyone that i'm consistently talking to i am i'm perfectly okay with that right now because i feel like it's something i need for myself for my spirit because i feel like it's it's very toxic to the spirit we always talk about like okay toxicity and all of that and we don't really think about the depth of what what we mean you know i feel like and it, it it's not a, it's not that the people i'm talking about are bad people i'm just saying the attachment that i've 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 created the attachment that i've created with those people like being attached to them and the idea of them being in my life i feel like now is the time to just cleanse all of that so that when i like come out of this covid lockdown quarantining all of this like when i come out of it i have a clear mind i can i can also stop judging um future people that i'll meet in the future let me put it like that i'll stop judging people i'll meet in the future because of what i went through with so and so in the past do you get what i'm saying like i feel like i need to just be within my thoughts reflect introspect see where i'm at what i want be sure about it and also i know it's easy to say i won't let anyone dribble me i won't let anyone do this and that i won't let anyone take me out take me for a ride it's easy to say that until you get into the situation and you're just like i am not this person i am way more and and way worth more than what i'm being treated like do you get what i'm saying and it's so easy to say no one can dribble me no one can do this and that and but like the problem is that when you get into these these situations you find yourself compromising you find yourself um submitting and settling and and you're just like this is not me so i want to get to a point whereby like like dead weight he says that do you know what i'm saying and be unapologetic to say no that is not i think this time is a great time to reflect on what we've been through in the past and what we'd like to change or do better like which areas we'd like to do better it doesn't have to be relationships it can be academics it can be financial financials like handling your finances like, properly you know for rainy days things like that like it's it, i think we should use we should all try and use this time to just get on with the things we've been saying we want to do and actually commit on the things we've always wanted to commit in like to practice that routine and that discipline to do to actually put in the work and what we wanted to do you know so i think for me i am so grateful for this time because also just like the the life can be overwhelming do you get what i'm saying so now is the time to just like say okay figure yourself out say okay what do i want in life you know who do i want to associate myself with who do i want around me who what what would i like to be how am i gonna get there you know um what type of behavior and treatment am i gonna allow into my life who's gonna surround me do you get what i'm saying those are questions you should be asking yourself and by the end of it like you should have answers into like i won't allow disrespect i won't allow disrespect whether it's my body my emotions my time like i won't allow that kind of respect um disrespect i mean i won't allow that type of disrespect into my space you know and be unapologetic about it you know obviously sometimes you will have to settle here and there for the people you want in your life but let it not be a thing where by now people are taking you for a ride and taking advantage of you because they know oh, you know who's man man 
they'll be sharp at the end of it they'll like they'll just have to be okay with it no don't be that person so basically guys that's what i am all about in covid in this covid 19 lockdown i am just all about myself i am taking care of myself and i'm glad that nobody is talking to me because go no look at your feelings when someone is literally ringing you up every single day because they're bored because the problem is that everyone's bored now you're gonna think that it's a real thing gandhi no but is just bored they just want something to keep things fresh you know no be like no this is my time this is time for me time for me to focus on me do you get what i'm saying um and basically that's what i will be doing you guys um so yeah um i hope you guys are having a great time please keep healthy please keep safe um wash your hands stay at home stay at home oh my goodness stay at home you guys so yeah much love nom noms thank you for watching bye ah! love you mwah, mwah.